Y'all, we live on a farm here. Farm, homestead, whatever you want to call it. But we have chickens, ducks, dairy cow, and pigs, and dogs. And what do all of those animals do every single day? They poop. And by far, the number one thing that if I had a piece of homestead, farm, tool, apparel, I don't care what it is, it is a good pair of waterproof kind of boots. I call them muck boots, but it's not exactly the muck boots. But today, what we're gonna be going over is a new review, an update review. I wanna be brutally honest of what I actually think after having Boggs boots for the last three years. Her poop looks good after being over in the Bermuda. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Bo Brotherton here on the Better Together Homestead. Guys, it is over 90 degrees already outside, beginning of May. My wife is about to have a baby or she has just had a baby. I'm amazing. So, I have chosen to do a homestead video in the comfort of my shed to studio in front of an unfinished Murphy bed. It's not even fully painted, y'all. But today we're talking about farm boots. All right, so yes, I have had these boots for the last three years. I've actually had two pair. So here is my original pair of boots. All right, so check these things out. Oh my goodness. They just, dude, they're so comfy. They feel really good. They're so squishy. It, it feels like I can run. Callie, put some pants on and try these things on. I refuse. You refuse to put pants on? These pair of boots were the original ones that I had and I had them for two straight years. The, the, the pair that I'm wearing now, I've had them for the last one year. And you guys, whenever I did the review video of these boots, I reviewed the box then I reviewed the muck boots and then the lacrosse. At that moment, I thought that these were by far the best. They are, were the most comfy boots that I've ever had on my feet. They were just fantastic. What I have since learned is the fact that I wear these every single day. And I will say that I got some different kind of feet, I guess. I don't have like flat, uh, squishy feet. I have guinea and bony feet and so the I wear boots out on so many like very specific places. Specifically the heel, the back of the heel, I wear it out raw. So there's a lot of padding back here at the back of the heel and I wear it out constantly. Also what I've learned is for these original boots I would just whenever I would take them off I don't use my hands to take them off I just use one foot. So I would just hold one foot down to slip this off. I learned that I really needed to focus on taking the boot off using this platform that they built in. Because if I didn't do that and I just used the heel over time, I ripped this sole off. Now, I don't think that that's a problem with the Boggs boots itself because they literally give you something to put your other foot on to slip it off. This one, because you can tell this is my right foot, didn't do it because I it's just how I take my boots off is I always take my left boot off first with my right foot putting it on the back of this to slide my left leg out of the boot. And I would just not even think of it and I would always constantly pull on the bottom of the sole, which ripped that off. This right one, this would be my foot, my left foot with the sock, and that never busted out. This is not a testament to the boot. This was whenever Chippy was a puppy and he just ripped the, uh, the neoprene up on this. So that's not the problem with the boot. That is the fact that I bought a Rottweiler puppy. Come on, big boy. Oh, gee, no. But I wore these every single day for two years and then they did start uh, wearing. So the sole started wearing out and the, like I said, the back of the heel here, I'll show a picture of what it kind of looks like with our, my newest boot. But once that padding in the back starts wearing out, it gets to this, it basically gets to the inside of this hard 
waterproof material. And so my bony heel would just start rubbing up and down, up and down that hard surface, and it would really mess up the back of my heel and I would get blisters. So after two years, I went ahead and bought a new pair. So these boots, you can tell they look so much better. I have learned how to take care of them better. And I've had these for almost one year. I've had them for about 11 months. The thing that I've learned, which, I'm, which is the point of me wanting to share this video, this update review video, so Boggs Boost basically has a full one year warranty that if anything goes wrong with your boots within that first year, you just fill out an online form and they send you a brand new pair of boots. Here, I'm gonna show you right here. I got this email and they said, hey, sorry that this was a defective product. We'll go ahead and send you a brand new pair of boots mind blown you guys i'm not kidding whenever i say that i wear these boots more often and longer in way harder working conditions than any other shoe that i've ever put on my feet the reason why i got a brand new pair of boots coming like right now they're in the mail is because the same thing happened with the back of the heel here, is that my heel just rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed every single day for a year. And so now that layer of padding back here is now has ripped off and it's now exposing inside this hard waterproof material on both boots. These things are almost perfect except for that part with the heel. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe if you have any ideas of how to like keep that you know, from happening and lasting longer, maybe it's me taping an extra piece of material back here, but it doesn't really matter. I'm getting a brand new pair of boots, but these guys are almost perfect except for that heel part. So getting the brand new pair, I can just try to figure out how to take care of that heel part a little bit better. But all in all, what I just wanted to be able to say, these Boggs boots are still the most comfortable boots that I've ever had on my feet, most comfortable shoes ever. They are just so tough. They are perfectly waterproof. They are warm in the winter. And then I always pull them down in the summer to, to let my, my calves breathe a little bit. So you, I like the fact that you can make them a low top boot. They're so squishy and soft inside that if I'm gonna go put up the chickens and I'm walking around the house barefoot, I just slide my bare feet in here. Ready? So if I came in, bam, bam, oh my goodness, that was good. And then I go lock up the chickens at night. Man, I love these Boggs boots. I'm gonna put a link down below if you want to check them out on amazon it is an affiliate link if it helps me out just a teeny bit if you check those out these things are awesome awesome awesome